kind of a tepid day when it comes to the price action, at least for the headline indices, but there was a lot of volatility and ructions underneath the surface. The end result of it all, though, was a Dow, an S&P, and a NASDAQ down fractionally on the day, but look at the performance, the outperformance, if you will, of the Russell 2000, up 1% here on the day here as it continues that streak here of really outpacing the broader market. Maybe, Scarlett, this is a bet here on better economic conditions, maybe just a bet, of course, on a drop in interest rates, but we had some earnings this morning, including from some big consumer names like yep. Kimberly Clark and UPS that seem to push back against that narrative. Absolutely. Let's start with UPS because it was the worst performer in the S&P 500, falling the most ever at one point after lower than expected second quarter profit due to wage inflation as well as weakened demand from consumers. Uh, the silver lining here, I suppose, is even though profit fell, uh, volume did grow for the first time in nine quarters. So maybe it's at a turning point. It's not clear yet. We're also looking at Spotify up 12% on the day. It did rally as much as 16%. The audio streamer reported quarterly subscriber growth of 12% that did top analyst estimates. Uh, but the beat follows moves to cut costs dramatically, also reduce its workforce, and pull back on a lot of podcast production. All right, let's switch up to the after hours trade right now because it was earnings palooza over the last 10 minutes. We heard from Alphabet, Tesla, and Texas Instruments. You can see Alphabet lower by 1%. Second quarter revenue uh, when you back out the cost to acquire traffic, acquire customers, did beat analyst estimates. Uh, that is a flip, actually, from earlier because it was up. Uh, ad revenue, uh, that, of course, is its main business, along with uh, search revenue, did top analyst estimates. But YouTube revenue trailed analyst estimates. And Tesla lower by 2.5%. It was bouncing around a lot. Uh, the second quarter earnings per share did miss analyst estimates. But Tesla does say it sees a sequential increase in production. Remember, it had pre-announced deliveries were declining. And it does uh, say that its plans for new vehicles remains on track. We'll get more details, obviously, from the CEO, Elon Musk, during the earnings call. And Texas Instruments, it's been up uh, since it reported results, and it remains up uh, by 4% right now. It gave an inline forecast for this quarter, so that did calm concerns of a downturn in the chip sector.